Good morning, Bengals. Today is Tuesday, September 29th. I'm John DeNovo. Please stand for prayer. Most loving Father, strengthen my weakness by your grace. Make use of me as a helpful uh, follower in your kingdom. St. Benedict, pray for us. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for your morning announcements. This week is the American Library Association's annual band book week, which celebrates the freedom to read. In your email, you should have received a link to an entry form for our band books week raffle. Please submit the entry form and be sure to stop by the Learning Commons this week to visit our display of band books. We will hold our drawing on Friday the 2nd. Students and teachers have an opportunity to attend a virtual career service event presented by Jim Tressel. This hour-long event will take place on Tuesday, October 6, and consist of a presentation and interactive Q&A session on leadership, global relations, and entrepreneurship. Please contact Ms. Hopkins or Mr. Ryan if interested. Benedictine JV Soccer lost a rain-soaked match to Rocky River yesterday 2-1. Please continue to follow the COVID-19 guidelines. Wear your mask over your mouth and nose, use the correct stairwells, and keep social distance. Also, please continue to follow dress code. And that's what's happening today, Tuesday, September 29th. I'll see you tomorrow. And as Cleveland takes the national spotlight tonight with the presidential debates, we remember what Bernard Birch said. Vote for the man who promises least. He'll be least disappointing. This is Better Looking John DeNovo, and these were your morning announcements. Later, Bengals.